Hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and at 5 a.m. this morning, a surprise update rolled out for Minecraft, and this included a fix for one of the biggest security concerns Minecraft has ever had. In fact, it's a security concern so big that even if you download the update, you're not 100% secure against it. And today, allow me to go through the most important news video you watched this year if you're a Java Edition player, because an exploit was found which would allow hackers to run any code they wanted, including malware, on your computer just by being on the same server as you. And if you're not a Java Edition player, maybe you can come along the ride to find out exactly how this affects not only Minecraft 1.18 but every version going back for the last seven years or so. It's a wild story and I wanted to share it with you because this is the weirdest update circumstances we've ever had to have but let's jump straight into it. I'll skip the whole you need to subscribe to see more news videos because like I said this is very important and it affects Java as a whole because a brand new zero day exploit was found in a popular Java logging package. It's called Log4j which is an unfortunate coincidence. It has nothing to do with 4j studios. The previous developers are Minecraft console edition. It is instead just a bug in how people put together their Java programs because they'll use something called log4j. It's very popular and according to this exploit page on Lunasec, it impacts many, many services including Steam, Apple iCloud and indeed Minecraft. These are of course just the biggest services that have this bug found in them. Anyone who has used the log4j package that doesn't specifically patch this bug that no one knew about until the 9th of December uh, obviously will have this uh, kind of running in there which is one of the big concerns of any legacy code. You need to keep it up to date to avoid this sort of thing. But whatever, for now, let's talk about what this actually allows you to do using the explanation on this very same page. So this utilizes a bug in Java effectively. Again, this is only for the Java edition of the game, including old versions. But the first step is that data from the user gets sent to the server via any protocol. The example in Minecraft of this is when you type anything into chat on a server, the server will then store that. It takes your information, throws it to the server, and it will store it as plain text. There's nothing particularly bad you can do in plain text besides maybe swear and even then you can just sense that later on and you can still show it to everyone. So the server stores this and in this case there is a vulnerability in how you can particularly type something so that you can send it to your domain perhaps. Attacker.com is the very fun way they've described it here. And then the vulnerability which has been found can be triggered by the payload that you know you have found on your own particular website and then you can use that to have a response that will take it to any remote Java class file which sounds really complex but in other words you can basically force other people's Java clients to run any Java file from your own website if you use this vulnerability and then once they force you to run some amount of their code which of course has the full privileges of Minecraft then they can use that to execute arbitrary code which is one of the scariest phrases um, in security because what arbitrary code means is any code they want. Do they want to execute some code that lets them know what your birthday is? They could do that or they could do something much more malicious and install some malware on you or they could take a keylogger or they could take your entire PC and they could encrypt it and force you to pay them some amount of Bitcoin in exchange for fixing it. That's called ransomware. Anything you're scared of being run on your PC can be run on that PC via Minecraft if they hadn't fixed this, which is why at 6 a.m. in the morning uh, for Sweden, which means he was up like, likely much earlier, uh, this was a bug that had to be fixed and it had to be fixed as soon as humanly possible. In fact, before they rolled out 1.18.1, they had a release candidate in those few short minutes just to confirm that it wasn't causing any worse bugs. But the point is, this morning was very very, very fast by Mojang release standards because they needed to get this out by any means necessary. So now comes the question of like, okay, so that's pretty bad, but didn't you mention that it's like applying to all older Minecraft versions? So I'll take this directly from Slice Lime. He is the tech lead on Minecraft Java, and what he says is that uh, basically this will be fixed as long as you restart Minecraft and uh, you know the new launcher will download the uh, fix automatically. There is no avoiding uh, the fix for that particular code bug. And then also they've made sure that they fixed it for realms. However, for servers, the server owners, they are de desperately begging you, please update to this latest code because again, if you have not updated the server, then pretty bad things can happen if people choose to do so. And now comes the scary part of the video where I mentioned that Slice Lime himself specifically says, I'd advise you not to play versions of Minecraft earlier than 1.12 right now because this particular problem has been found in Minecraft versions dating back to uh, at least 1.8 and so that's pretty concerning and they can't actually update those super old versions. They can make the security fix apply to anything in the latest, uh, you know, launcher versions. However, if you're using a super old launcher or they can't access these older versions, then maybe some bad things can happen. And so now that we've gone through the news and why it's so important that if you run a server or just Minecraft or anything at all, that you update it now. And if you're playing old versions older than 1.12, that you don't play those. Now let's talk about the realistic side of this, because although it is very important that you take cybersecurity incredibly seriously, and it's good that Minecraft 
Minecraft is doing that again. Even waking up early just so they can protect Java Edition players. It's something I really do respect and good job for them getting this out. Now we need to talk about the kind of realistic angle of this because uh, was it real reality that people were running around from 1.8, you know, seven years ago to now uh, running arbitrary code on people's PCs? Um, it's, it's incredibly unlikely that that's actually true. What has actually uh, happened here is that even though the bug has existed for many, many years in Minecraft, it was discovered just yesterday and, uh, you know, that discovery of just yesterday and being discovered by people who weren't using it maliciously and deliberately kind of kept m uh, some details vague so that people couldn't abuse it so easily uh, kind of means that it's very, very hard for you to actually exploit this. You need to know exactly what you're doing on a level much greater than uh, me and let's be honest, much greater than 99% of you watching this video um, and then you would need to want to do malicious things which is already a smaller group of the population yet and then you need to go on Minecraft servers which don't run their own custom software which is most of the big ones and then you'd need to run it and just attack random people uh, and so in reality this hasn't been happening to most people and uh, also in reality it's only been known about for a day and again hasn't been used maliciously in that time as best we know which means that in actuality you haven't been at risk this entire time maybe a good analogy to that would be that uh, imagine that there's a an app on your phone that can unlock any door and uh, you know that this app comes out yesterday and now every single door in the world can be unlocked by anyone well first of all not everyone's going to be using this to steal your stuff most people aren't criminally minded they just want to protect themselves from criminals more than anything else uh, but then even then it's also worth mentioning that okay well the app was only developed yesterday the technology for the app clearly could have existed this whole time I have no idea how an app could unlock a door but just imagine uh, that it does uh, but like uh, you know clearly the technology has existed that time and now even if you have a door that was made in 2002 uh, it's vulnerable to this uh, you know exploit but in reality you should be pretty safe especially now that they've got a fix out here and so uh, there is no doubt going to be someone who has been very unfortunate over the last uh, or, or will be unfortunate in the near future uh, and this will get them because there are all sorts of bugs uh, that apply to older versions of every operating system and every uh, major language. Uh, this is just a fact of how development works. It's pretty scary that it works by just, oh yeah some some of the things we use every single day have vulnerabilities we just haven't found yet and we hope that people aren't finding those things but that's just kind of how security works I mean think about it this way, you can't bring uh, certain metals or like weapons or whatever to an airport but there's no metal detectors in the rest of society outside of like courtrooms and so you can just bring a knife or a weapon or a car uh, into large groups of people but we just kind of hope and assume that people aren't doing that and in most cases it works you can never have uh, true 100% security but in the cases of programming languages it's really important that we try and that's why it's really important that Java Edition got this out uh, very quickly and so good job to Sly Slime and the whole Minecraft Java team apparently this was his last day before uh, going on vacation so very convenient timing or inconvenient depending on your uh, point of view um, and obviously uh, the key points as far as security are just wait a bit before playing certain older versions or certain older mods the major mods like Forge and the major servers have fixed this immediately Minecraft has fixed this immediately but there'll be some little holes. Uh, in those holes, you're probably not at huge risk, but it still doesn't mean you should do it. I, I think that's a good uh, lesson to take here. And the weirdest take of all that I've been seeing a lot is like, oh, this is why bedrock's better. Um, the exact same thing is just as likely to happen in reverse, and I'm going to defend it just the same way. It is dumb to say that a random exploit happened to be found in the programming, uh, in the, lang the library, under the programming language, under the game itself. Uh, you can't blame Minecraft Java for that, and you can maybe blame, blame Java as a programming language, and you you better believe that I always want to. Um, but yeah, like this, something like this could happen to Minecraft Bedrock at some point. It's just one of those facts of life. We're having a very weird time regarding Minecraft updates now. Right now, I imagine partly because so many uh, people are about to go on uh, holiday breaks. And so uh, it's important that we went through all of this and I hope you learned some things. I learned about arbitrary code execution and about all the weird worlds of Java libraries. And you know, again, it's the weirdest language and the way it's put together makes no sense to me. But you know, what? I hope this video made some sense to you. Just a quick last thank you to Minecraft. Minecraft uh, developers for putting this together in what was clearly a hard and annoying time to have to I, I say coming to work, but they're all working from home. But still, a hard time to have to wake up and be like, hey, uh, did you know there's a really bad thing that's going to happen if you don't do something right now? That's a terrifying feeling, and good job for them for dealing well under pressure. If you want to see me deal well under pressure, then I'll be live streaming tonight, um, starting a brand new survival project. If you'll believe it, I'm actually very excited, and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Unless something tragic happens, in which case I'll see you... 
uh, at the funeral instead. I, I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I look forward to seeing you tonight. Uh, oh, you can subscribe, perhaps have notifications turned on to see precisely that, or any other videos about Minecraft news and more. Tomorrow is, of course, Q&A Saturday and Store Saturday. It's going to be a special double to celebrate the holiday season, so I'll see you for those two. Goodbye. <laughs>